In this video, you're going to learn how to use Namecheap to buy a domain name for free to get hosting really cheap and how to get WordPress set up so you can start building out your website. So below this video, I'm going to put a link that will take you to this specific page, which will show you the latest deals or discounts that Namecheap is currently offering. Right now, you can see for the basic shared hosting plans, they start at just $1.98 a month, and this is for a 12 month term. Now with all web hosts, this is the way they work. The longer you pay, the cheaper you get it. And then once it renews after that one year, it's normally at a higher price. For example, this one says that you're going to pay for your first year $22.88, but after it renews on the second year, it's going to cost you $44.88. So keep that in mind when you purchase your web hosting. So the first thing you want to do is select a plan you want to go with. For me, the Stellar plan will work just fine. It includes a domain name for free, which is going to save me an extra $10 to $12, and you can add up to three websites on this hosting account. So let's go ahead and click on Get Started. Now here it's going to ask us to connect a domain name to our hosting account. So right now we don't have a domain name, so I'm going to come down here and search for one. And actually, I've already got one set up, so I'm going to go ahead and type it in. For this website, I'm going to use netnibs.com. You can see here it's $10.28 a year, but then it's going to renew at $15.88 a year. We're going to go ahead and connect this to our hosting. And you can see for our first year, it's going to cost us $33.34, a very affordable price to run your online business for a full year before it has to renew. So let's go ahead and click on add to cart. Now, one important thing you want to do is make sure you have your domain name set up to auto renew. If you don't do this next year on the same day, your domain name is going to expire and somebody else can buy it, which means you can lose your website. So make sure if you want to keep this longer than a year, you set up auto renew. I usually do this for the domain name, the domain privacy, and also for the Stellar hosting package. Now below, you're going to see a lot of other options here. You do not need these. If you scroll down through here, you're going to see where you can add a business email, some uh, managed WordPress hosting, which is more expensive, an SSL certificate, which one comes included for your first year anyways. You do not need this and you don't need any of these other services. So go ahead and click on confirm order. Now here you're going to create your account. So go ahead and add a username and fill out your details here. If you already have a Namecheap account, you can simply click on login right here. Once that's done, click on create account and continue. Now, sometimes it may ask you to verify you're a human. If so, just do that and re-enter your password and submit it again. On this page, you just want to finish filling out your account contact details. After that, click on continue and then scroll down to the bottom and tick this box to save the configuration above to your default checkout settings. This will save you more time in the future if you decide to purchase additional products. Click on continue. Now you're going to choose how you want to pay, whether you want to use a credit card or debit card, or you can even use PayPal. Go ahead and fill out those details, scroll down to the bottom, and if you want to use this payment method as the default in the future, you can tick this box and then click continue. Now it's going to confirm your order. You want to scroll to the bottom, tick the box for the terms and agreement and click on pay now. Now you can see up at the top that we're logged into our account. So what we need to do is scroll down and click on dashboard. The very first thing you want to do is verify your email address. You can see down here where we purchased our domain netnibs.com, but it says we have 15 days left to verify our contact info. So we want to jump over to our email that we set up and click that email they sent to us. And this is what the email looks like. You can see it's from Namecheap. It says immediate verification. You're just going to come down and you're going to click this link that says click here to verify your email address. Once you do that, it says here the registrant email address successfully verified. So we can close this window. Now this message may appear here for up to another maybe 15 or 20 minutes, but it will eventually disappear. The next thing we want to do is come over and click on our hosting. Now here we can see we're subscribed with a domain name of netnibs.com to the Stellar plan. It's active, set up to auto renew. And now over here, you can see where we can log into our cPanel and this is where we can install WordPress. I'm just going to skip this. Now one thing that's very important about Namecheap is their SSL certificates. They do install it for free for one year. After that, you have to renew it for a few dollars every year. But here you can see in the control panel over here on the right hand side, the primary domain is Netnibs. And right here you can check the SSL status. It can take Namecheap up to a half an hour to get your SSL certificate installed. 
So you may have to wait a little bit before you set up WordPress because you want this to be active before you do so. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait a few minutes. We'll refresh this page and these icons should change and this should show up as a lock to show that it is a valid certificate. Okay, so after about 20 minutes it took, I was kept refreshing my page and now you can see there is a lock here and it says domain validated certificate. So now we're ready to go. So what we wanna do is come down and click on WordPress and we're gonna scroll down and click on install now. Now here you can see we have HTTPS, which is exactly what we want. That means that it does have an SSL certificate ready to go. Now we're gonna come down here and give the site a name. So I'm gonna take this and just rename it to my domain name, which is Netnibs. The site description, you can add something in there or you can change it later. I'll just change mine later. And then you want to set up your username, your password, and your admin email. So this is really important. Your username and password is what you're going to use to log into WordPress with. It's also the username and password you're going to provide us if you want us to create for you one of the done for you niche websites. So be sure to write it down and keep it safe. The admin email is where you're going to receive emails if somebody decides to contact you through the website. So make sure this is a valid email address you have. Then down here, I'm going to uncheck these boxes because I don't want them installed. It's up to you if you want any of these installed. Then you're going to scroll to the bottom and click on install. So the process of setting up WordPress on Namecheap is just a little more time consuming and complicated than it is with Hostinger, but you end up getting the same results. Now it's going to give you an administrative URL. Now, if you visit this link here on this page, it's automatically going to log you in. Otherwise, you can copy this link and use it anytime you want to to sign into your WordPress website by using the username and password that you copied. Now, the other way to log in is we can go back to the main dashboard. So up here at the top, we can click on our main control panel and then we can click on WordPress again right here. And if we scroll down now, you're going to see that we have current installations. So now we have our NetNibs domain right here our admin. So if you click this icon, it's going to log you in automatically as the administrator. That way you don't even have to worry about your username and password in case you forget it. And that's all there is to it. WordPress is now set up and installed. So this is how easy it is to use Namecheap to get your domain name, your hosting, and your WordPress set up within just a few minutes.